day 35. It's cold outside. I'm cold. 40, 41 degrees. I'm cold, so my breathing's gonna be a little obnoxious, unfortunately. That's just how it goes. I'm actually like very cold, which is annoying. So, bear with me. cold today. The water kind of, the water's cold. I'm getting numb. It wasn't like that at 51 degrees, which was yesterday. But it's going to be colder overnight for the next couple of days, so we'll get some colder ones in for sure. Did chest yesterday. Feel great. Um, I think I, yeah, I have to work out today because I won't be able to work out tomorrow. So I'm going to do back. Back. This is cold today. Yesterday sucked, by the way, just because they cut all my friends off of the bills, <laughs> which sucks, but unfortunately, it's a business, but I did make a phone call. It'd be cool if I can get one of my friends to get re-signed by the bills, but that's all I'll say, because... Last time I got in this situation, he caused a little bit of a ruckus. And I'm sure by the time you see this video, something had uh, would have already happened. Because I'm so fucking behind on these videos. It's annoying. I really need to, like, focus. But I did. I know I said I'd do it yesterday. I just broke down everything yesterday as far as my, uh, the way I used to eat. And holy shit. I'm surprised in, no I'm not, because it's, it's kind of common sense, like yeah, obviously you'd expect things when you're eating out to not be as healthy, you know, but the sugar department was a very big surprise for me, and just the fat too, I think, but the protein's always there, that's why I always maintained muscle, I never lost muscle, because my protein intake's, all, intake's always so high. But it's scary, like, now that I actually, like, look at the things, like, I would eat, I'm so scared to go out to eat. So I'll share that with you today. Maybe we'll get, uh, I mean, I'll put, I'm gonna post, I have to post a video today. I have one, literally, that's been just sitting on YouTube waiting to be literally changed from private to public for like five days. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. That's the reason I'm behind. I don't want to like double upload or anything because that would just, I don't feel like people's interest would be there necessarily. So I'll try to just do like daily or something, even though I've said this a hundred times and I haven't done shit. So What's good, ladies and gentlemen? We are back in the garage, and I'm wearing a hat, and my mic's here. And I'm not sure if I like it. It's, like, kind of distracting. 
the hat I don't mind, but this, uh, I have to put this on a hat. I can't keep wearing it on myself because I sweat so much. And it's funny, I actually was like playing back a video of a couple week ago on the cold plunge and my audio was cutting out and I'm hoping that there's no water damage in my microphone. But if there is, we'll just buy another one. But today we got back. We are going to do some workouts that, well, a workout exercise that used to be my favorite, but I have very bad lower back problems from, from deadlifting and squatting very heavy. You know, so like even squatting for my leg day, you know, really bothered my back, but I just, I just had to do it. So we are going to start with just regular lat pull downs. We're going to do four sets of 12. Probably do two warm up sets, and then we are going to go from there. We're going to do penley rows. So, what a penley row is, it's I like to be 90 degrees with the barbell on the ground, staying bent over, coming from the ground, and just explosive right to the chest. I'll obviously demonstrate it once I get to that exercise. And then after that, we are going to do rack pulls, which is a workout or an exercise. I don't know why I keep saying workout, an exercise that I used to love. And that's probably why my back's fucked up, but. We're not going to go crazy heavy with it, honestly. I have no idea. I'm only doing three sets of 12 or three sets of 10 on that. So I'm really going to probably just focus on the movement, not necessarily the weight. And then after that, we are going to do that movement that we did last back exercise or workout. See, I'm confusing them, you know, where we start forward and come through. But I'm actually going to try it on the lat pull down. I'm going to remove the seat and use my medium plyo box so I can be a little lower to the ground because what I want to do is take my easy bar curl and hook my handles onto it so I can rotate. So I want to come up here for my stretch. You probably can't see. I want to come up here with my hands for my stretch and when I contract, I want to roll down. So we'll, we'll test it out. I'm sure I'll figure something out. We'll be able to make that work. I'll probably, I should probably buy an attachment that I can just put clips on. I mean, I'm sure it's not ch too expensive, but this hoodie, look how big this thing is on me now. It's insane. And I know you guys are probably tired of seeing me wear this, so I actually, like, literally in my 10 minutes of getting warm and the gym warm, I actually just bought a bunch of new uh, new workout shit, so new uh, a new me's coming. But I am, I'm probably actually going to stretch. I don't like stretching. I'm not really a fan of it, but I am going to... Pretty much just crack my back more than anything. I'm going to lay down and just really stretch my back out. And then we're going to do our warm-up like we always do for our any upper body exercise. And then we're going to probably do two warm-up sets on the lat pull-down. And then we're just going to start cranking, you know, the intensity. So I'm actually going to set everything up so it's ready to go. So there's no in-between. So, like, I'm going to get this bar down here ready for penley rows. I'm going to get the rack set up for rack pulls. I'm going to get the lat pull down. It's already it's already set up for lat pull downs, and I'm going to have my plow box re ready to go just so I can readily get into it and keep that intensity. So let's warm up. Warming up our shoulders like we do every upper body workout. You know, I wouldn't put this in the video, but I'm not going to let here sit here and let somebody tell me, oh, you didn't warm up like you say you always do. So I'm trying to record everything, except eating. Nobody wants to see me eat. That's just weird. Just like when I shoot weddings, everybody's like, I'm not taking pictures of people sitting around eating food. It's weird. But I will have a kitchen day soon, very soon, because I'm going to go to the grocery store today. And I'm going to determine if I'm going to switch my food today or tomorrow. But I, today I expect to be a big day for a video because I'm going to share with you all the, uh, the information on how I would eat before I started this journey here. Got this weird shoulder thing going on, and honestly, I think it's from squatting. Just that bar with 315 on my shoulder. Feels weird. You can see I was feeling it during my chest workout yesterday. You'll see a lot of it, especially on the bench. 
I was so slow trying to focus on my chest and I kept feeling my shoulder. That's why I burned out so fast. But. All right, we're going to warm up. First warm up. With these, I'm gonna try to stay more upright. Get a little arch in my back, but I wanna drive with my elbows straight down. That's what I want for my movement. I don't wanna swing and pull. All right, I added another 25 pounds. Four sets of 12. I'm not gonna be able to wrap with this rubber here. But we'll do what we can. Yeah, we're not gonna be able to wrap. It's all good. Feels good, feels really good. My back's actually pumped quite a bit already. I'm gonna probably put 10 more pounds on. It's a lot of weight on here. Set three. Oh, the back feels incredible. Probably not even 20 seconds later, last set. <sighs> Might have to get ugly here. Friendly rows, three sets of 10. I like to go wide on this to take my biceps out. I don't know what wide is to you. But. <sighs> nice flat back. I feel like I'm driving my chest to the ground, but I'm not moving it, if that makes sense. I haven't done this movement in so long, it's funny. I used to be able to do 285 on this movement. Like aggressively too. But I don't care. 
I just want to feel my muscles work. I'll try to get nasty on this one for you. <sighs> Right into it. Oh, my heart rate's crazy right now. 138. Come on, crew. <laughs> 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 It's another one of those movements I used to be able to go so heavy. I know I can go heavy, but I don't want to hurt myself, most important. And I also want to feel this, let alone I'm doing volume. So 10 reps, as far as a deadlift is volume. You know, doing that many reps of a deadlift is asinine. But I'm just gonna take my time with these and just nice and controlled. Bars four inches below my knee, which is exactly how I like it. I like to sit down here, big chest, head up and sinking my hips so I can arch my back. I don't want to do this ever. Never want to do that. So I want to feel it. Nice and controlled. Head up, hips fire. So light. Probably put a quarter on each side. And put a 35 on each side. So I think it's 205. I'm not good at math. Also, don't care. Same thing. Lock it in. Same thing. Head up, butt down, back arch. <sighs> It's crazy. My intensity is so high. I almost feel like I'm not doing enough because my workouts are over before they even start. But I don't give a fuck. We working, baby. Let's go. Same thing. Two things, I lighten the weight because I need to, not just for function, but I have to take my time with my reps because these are these handles are literally just banking on the balance inside of the, uh, the concave of the easy bar. So I need to take my time and make sure I'm in the same spot on, on both sides because if I pull too much on one side, ring's gonna slip and it's gonna be a mess. So I'm gonna take my time. I don't know how many, I think I got 15 reps on this. Three sets of 15. <sighs> I don't need these anymore.
This slowness is killing me. Oh shit, back is burning. One more shot. I don't know if you heard it, I have headphones in so I can't hear anything, but the way I have my door set up, I have a, probably like a six foot two by four stapled to my plastic. As you can see, my whole gym's surrounded in plastic for insulation. So like when I open the door, I need room to open the door without fucking the plastic up. So it's not connected to the door, it's connected to halfway here. So there's a little bit of tension on it. And my camera sits over there, at least for that angle. And for some reason it fell, the whole two by four, and I missed my camera by like fucking three inches. I would have fucking, it would have been over. But thankfully we're still here. Last set. Deciding to do a couple sets of straight arm pull downs. No rep range, just as many reps as possible. Just I need to get more lower lats involved. Put more weight on and do one more set. Last set. Two more. Ah. Ah. That's a back workout. That was a great back workout. I think it was 51 minutes, 52 minutes. Full back workout. High volume. Where are we at? Yeah, 52. 52 minutes, it was great. You know, felt, I, I felt like I did enough, but I don't like to leave anything in the gym ever. So I added that uh, two sets of straight arm pull downs. It really pretty much filled my back up. So I'm happy with that. Day 35, not working out tomorrow. I think next we have shoulders or arms. So, and that'll be Saturday. So we will, I mean, I'll be in the cold plunge tomorrow. You'll see that in... Saturday's video so 
Thanks for watching. If you made it this far, I know there's very, very little of you who ever make it this far, but if you are actually like, you know, following this 100% with me, I greatly appreciate it. You know, I, uh, I understand how time consuming it is to watch, you know, 40 minutes to an hour daily of, of anything. You know, a lot of people don't have that time. So I completely understand if nobody gets this far, but for those of you who are, I appreciate you because, you know, not only am I doing this for me, I'm doing it for you. So just to kind of show you, you know, an, an overall honest day in the life for 77 days of me trying to change my life. So I'm going to go eat and then we will, what time we got here? Yeah. And then we'll go to the studio and uh, I'll sit down with you guys and I'll break down my, my usual daily routine before I started to uh, try to change my habits here. So we'll see you at the studio. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, I told you I would and I did. So I spent a lot of yesterday and probably the last two hours doing research on pretty much, not research, but literally just looking up the nutrition on everything I would eat on a daily basis. And I broke it down into a lot of information. So the way I have this, obviously there's so many other times where I'll eat some different or drink something different, but it's always 98% of the time something bad. So we will start with, I'll go through my, my daily routine. I, I'll, I'll have to try to break it up because like my day is usually the same. It's just more or less where, where I'm eating my main meal is different. So probably 90% of the time there's always a Tim Hortons trip. Okay. So that's how I will start my day with a trip to Tim Hortons. And then at the end of the days, I'll have like specific not specific because it obviously will vary as well, but I didn't want to get too complicated in this. So let me separate that as well. So I have, okay, that's here. So I have snacks. Like before I go to bed, I'll have like candy or whatever. So I have that on here as well. So I will walk you through. So I'll start with my Tim Hortons trip. And then I'll go through, like, I'll just call like day one, day two, whatever, just different days, which are different, like, main meals, okay? But the, uh, the Tim Hortons and my snacks uh, will be included in every day calorically. So I have all that information, just, I have literally information per, per dish meal, then all together as a meal, then all together with my, my Tim Hortons trip and my snacks, so... I'll start with my day. So let's just call this day one, okay? So my Tim Hortons, I'll go to Tim Hortons. I'll get a double-double orange Pico tea. That's 230 calories, 12 grams of fat, 26 grams of carbs, 2 grams of protein, and 8 grams of sugar. Then I'll get two everything bagels toasted with cream cheese, 800 calories, 32 grams of fat, 110 grams of carbs, 26 grams of protein, and 10 grams of sugar. So that all together is... 1,030 calories, 44 grams of fat, 136 grams of carbs, 28 grams of protein, and 18 grams of sugar. I'm having that every day. That's what I'm including in everything, okay? So after that, I'll, I'll read through, like, where I'm going. I'll just read the, uh, the options, and I'll tell you which one I'm doing. So I'm either having Taco Bell, Burger King, Olive Garden, Pizza, or I am having Applebee's. So we'll start with Applebee's, okay? So... I eat a lot of food, and uh, I'm very surprised at like how all this is calorically. So my go-to meal at Applebee's, okay? So I'll get the neighborhood nachos with extra beef, extra cheese, and extra sour cream. 2,300 calories, 150 grams of fat, 130 grams of carbs, 85 grams of protein, and 15 grams of sugar. I'll also, I'll have a three-cheese chicken penne pasta. 13... 120 calories, 69 grams of fat, 99 grams of carbs, 76 grams of protein, and 11 grams of sugar. And on top of that pasta, I will have two orders of fried shrimp or grilled shrimp. Depends, but I have grilled shrimp written here. So 160 calories, 11 grams of fat, 2 grams of protein, 15 gram, or 2 grams of carbs, 15 grams of protein, 1 gram of sugar. And on top of that, I'll also have 
uh, mozzarella sticks. 860 calories, 43 grams of fat, 77 carbs, 41 grams of protein, and 12 grams of sugar. And then with this meal, I'll probably drink throughout the duration of me being at the restaurant three pops, which my, my pop of choice is lemon lime. So at Applebee's, it'll be a starry. So Applebee's, so three starries, 600 calories, 156 grams of carbs, and 156 grams of sugar. So this meal, all together, my trip to Applebee's is 5,240 calories, 273 grams of fat, 464 grams of carbs, 217 grams of protein, and 195 grams of sugar. Okay. I forgot to read my snack. So well, that'll be a perfect way into this. Okay. So 90% of the time, if I'm going to pretty much out to eat, I love to go to Cold Stone after. So my Cold Stone order is not going to affect reflect to this calorically it's going to be lower because I'm it's impossible to figure out the proportion sizes of the things that I get added into but I do get added peanut butter an obnoxious amount so that I did add to this so I always get the gotta have it the the biggest one so my order at Cold Stone is 1430 calories 116 grams of fat 105 grams of carbs 40 grams of protein and 84 grams of sugar and then this going to like my snacks, like the shit I'll like munch on throughout the day, mostly at night. I'll have a Gatorade, 190 calories, 51 carbs, 48 grams of sugar. Then I'll probably have two of the Reese Sticks King Size Packs, 880 calories, 48 grams of fat, 96 grams of carbs, 16 grams of protein, and 72 grams of sugar. And also I'll have Twizzlers. I don't usually eat a, a whole pack of Twizzlers, so I have about, I think, 10, 10 or 12 actual Twizzlers. Is 270 calories, 2 grams of fat, 108 grams of carbs, 12 grams of protein, and 57 grams of sugar. So my snack, my cold stone including my snack, is 2,770 calories, 166 grams of fat, 360 grams of carbs, 68 grams of protein, and 261 grams of sugar. So my full day with my Tim Hortons trip, my Applebee's, my cold stone, and my Gatorade and my snacks. So that all together in one day, 9,040 calories, 483 grams of fat, 960 grams of carbs, 313 grams of protein, and 474 grams of sugar, which is fucking disgusting. So that's day one. Okay, so I'm just, I just know that I'm now going to include my Tim Hortons trip, my cold stone, and my snack into every day. So now this is if I had pizza, okay? Which is hard to gauge calorically because obviously every pizzeria does things so differently, but also I feel like Buffalo style pizza is so much more on the heavy side compared to 98% of the world's pizza besides Chicago or just deep style pizza in general. So this one is, is probably going to be like super weak calorically just because I can't give it, you know, a full, a full range here, but Pizza calorically, I have 2,800 calories, 112 grams of fat. This is a whole large pizza, which I will eat myself. But the next part is what's crazy. 1200, or 112 grams of fat, 300 grams of carbs, 110 grams of protein, and 36 grams of sugar. So when I eat my pizza, I love to dip my pizza in ranch. And I'll have about a cup and a half of ranch. So a cup and a half of ranch is 1,680 calories, 168 grams of fat. 24 grams of carbs, 12 grams of protein, as well as 12 grams of sugar. So that meal altogether, if I'm just eating the pizza, including the ranch, calorically, 4,480 calories, 280 grams of fat, 324 grams of carbs, 122 grams of protein, and 48 grams of sugar. So that, including my Tim Hortons, my cold stone, and my snacks with pizza, 8,280 calories, 498 grams of fat, 826 carbs, 218 grams of protein, and 554 grams of sugar. That's the most sugar in, out of any day, which is wild. So that's, that's day two. So we'll call this day three, which is Olive Garden. Love me some Olive Garden, I'm sure a lot of you guys do. So this is my go-to at Olive Garden. Chicken and yolky soup, calories, 230 Fat, 12 grams, carbs, 24, protein, 10, sugar, 5. And with that, I'll probably have about four breadsticks. Four breadsticks, 560 calories, 8 grams of fat, 100 grams of carbs, 12 grams of protein, and 4 grams of sugar. And then for a appetizer, I will get the stuffed ziti, the baked stuff. 
500 calories, 26 grams of fat, 40 grams of carbs, 27 grams of protein, and 1 gram of sugar. And also, I'll get the fried mozzarella. 800 calories, 49 grams of fat, 57 grams of protein, 33 gram, or 57 carbs, 33 grams of protein, and 3 grams of sugar. And then for my actual meal, I will get the 5 cheese ziti. 1,220 calories, 71 grams of fat, 103 grams of carbs, 45 grams of protein, and 4 grams of sugar. And while I'm at it, Olive Garden, I will have three Sprites. So three Sprites at Olive Garden is 570 calories, which is 153 carbohydrates as well as 153 grams of sugar. So my whole Applebee's meal is 3,880 calories, 166 grams of fat, 477 carbs, 127 grams of protein, and 170 grams of sugar. So that, including my Tim Hortons and my ice cream and my snacks, 7,600 calories, 376 grams of fat, 973 grams of carbs, 223 grams of protein, and 449 grams of sugar. It's probably one of my, well, no, this next day is my better day. But it's it's weird because, like, it depends when I eat. So sometimes it'll honestly be, like, three of these. So, like, there's probably days where I'm easily, like, fifteen to 16,000 calories. Easily. Because, like, everything I do is not included in this. Because, like, right here I have Burger King which is like right down the street, which is like, I'll do this and I'll still go to Burger King later in the day. If I'm going to like, you know, Olive Garden or something at like 3 PM, I'm still going to go to Burger King. And you know, my Burger King meal is almost 4,000 calories. So it's like probably like a third of the time, like that's on top of this. So just, just understand that. So my Burger King meal, triple Whopper with extra cheese. I didn't include the extra cheese in the calories. But the calories is 1,500 calories, 95 grams of fat, 61 grams of carbs, 80 grams of protein, and 16 grams of sugar. I also have two large fries, 880 calories, 38 grams of fat, 128 carbs, 10 grams of protein, and 2 grams of sugar. I also have an eight-piece cheesy top, which is fire. 380 calories, 22 grams of fat, 36 grams of carbs, 10 grams of protein, and 1 gram of sugar. I'll also have a large Sprite. 440 calories, 115 carbs, and 115 grams of sugar. And I'll also get a milkshake. 570 calories, 18 grams of fat, 93 carbs, 9 grams of protein, and 76 grams of sugar. So calorically, my Burger King meal, 3,770 calories, 173 grams of fat, 433 grams of carbs, 109 grams of protein, and 210 grams of sugar. My whole meal with my Tim Hortons and my snacks. 7,570 calories, 383 grams of fat, 929 grams of carbs, 205 grams of protein, and 489 grams of sugar. Okay. And this one, the, the last one, I, it's Taco Bell. But I also kind of feel like this is like the same thing as Burger King where like I'm getting this on top of the other things. So my go-to meal at Burger or Taco Bell, at least recently – is the stacker so i'll get four of those which is 1560 calories 72 grams of fat 156 grams of carbs 72 grams of protein and 12 grams of sugar i'll also get a crunch wrap supreme 530 calories 21 grams of fat 71 carbs 8 16 grams of protein and 6 grams of sugar this is probably like my best meal calorically so like if i do choose to do something at taco bell is probably the answer 2090 calories altogether 93 grams of fat 227 carbs 88 grams of protein and 18 grams of sugar. This on top of my snacks and my Tim Hortons, 5,840 calories, 303 grams of fat, 723 carbs, 114 grams of protein, and 298 grams of sugar. So I wanted to show you the sugar is what I'm like, it's insane to me. Like I just, I guess I never put it into perspective. So I wanted to show you what that perspective looks like, okay? So I already have the cup full of sugar, which I already weighed. I'm going to show you the scale just so you can see. So the, the cup itself is 14 grams, okay? And I didn't even have enough sugar in the house to show you. How, so I averaged everything out. Out of all the days, the average amount of sugar is 449 grams, okay? So I'll, I'll adjust the camera just to show you this better. So here's this. And wait till you see how much fucking sugar this is, right? So this, I think this amount of sugar, it's like four, 430 something. 
So I can't tar out and cancel out the cup weight. The cup weight is 14 grams. So this might be close to 450, including 14 grams of the cup. But this amount of sugar I have on a daily basis. I'll fix the camera for you. Or I'll just zoom in. That is absolutely, hold on, let me fix this. That is absolutely insane. That is a disgusting amount of sugar that I would have on a daily basis. Shut up, I'm busy. But that's like insane. But we'll go grab this dog before he starts being annoying. But yeah, that is my daily, most of my daily routine. And uh, one thing that I've learned that I always knew is I'm always good on protein. I always make sure I'm getting my protein, which is why I don't feel like I've lacked like muscle loss. Go ahead, buddy. You can go ahead unless you want to stay. You want to stay? Then you can stay over here. But that's just one thing that I noticed. But my fat is super high, which is, I guess, as expected. I mean, everything's high. I mean, it's an insane amount of food and us also with eating out and processed food. So that's just a, a different perspective I wanted to give you. And I also learned a lot about myself because now I'm thinking so much. I'm learning. I learned that obviously sugar is the enemy. But like this, the things like if I cut things out, like if I didn't drink pop, if I drank water at any of these places, my calories would would change and my sugar would change. I would lose 156 grams of sugar if I didn't drink soda. You know, which, you know, you look at this, that's probably still, it's still up here, which is fucking disgusting, but that also comes with my snacks. So if I were to stop snacking, which I'm definitely not going to, I mean, I'm definitely not going to do again, I would be... 261 grams of sugar gone so that with 156 grams of sugar that'd be half of this you know and obviously I can clean up so many things now that I understand the education of it but it's also portion control well you know like you know I think I think it takes your mind 12 minutes to tell yourself you're full and the thing is like when I eat these things I'm usually hungry like the, the way that I'm training everything now I'm sure that I just focused on that the whole time is just like trying to control, contain and control my mind to not like be hungry. So like I try to eat when I'm not hungry so I can never be hungry. And that's when like temptation and things come into play. But like when I would eat those things, I'd be fucking starving. So I'd be like, oh shit, like we got to go get some food and then I'll go get food and, and, it'll, and it'll come and I'll just go. I'll just eat all the food as fast as I can. And that's where... You know, like, I'll, I'll get, that's why I'll get super bloated, and I'll need to be drinking a lot of fluids, and it's just like a, a, a slippery slope and a chain reaction into, into that part. So that's um, a different perspective that I, I had. But, um, you know, everything else is going to stay the same video-wise. It was just cool to kind of give you a different little perspective here. And I think the next perspective we're going to do is we may go grocery shopping. I don't think I'm going to take you grocery shopping unless somebody films it because that's just annoying. But I think I want to introduce flexible dieting two people like I'll I'll break down my caloric numbers throughout a day and I'll show you what I'll do for flexible dieting just to show you how to do it just in case you're on the fly you know but I don't want to I'm not going to do that myself because I'm I'm pretty much treating this like I'm doing a bodybuilding show like my meal timing is on point my meals are on point and like the foods that I'm eating are beneficial for my body I don't want to have like filler foods or starchy foods and stuff like that i'm sticking to this this script here but i may do a day where i'm kind of switching that up just to show you or no i won't even i don't know if i'll do it i might just show you what i would do for flexible dieting and um that'll probably be the next video it, it won't be tomorrow uh it might be sometime next week i need to get caught up on these videos i, I literally just edited a video which i think is day 20 three or something like that and today is day 35 so i'm posting day 18 today 
So I need to kind of get caught up in that department, but we're working on it. I have a little bit of time. I know I say this every time and I just, I just don't get to it. It really only takes me like 26 minutes to edit a video. I know it's pretty, uh, pretty direct uh, time there, but that's it for today. I will see you in the cold plunge and thanks for watching. I know I said I would be at the studio as well, but I just didn't feel like going over there. So thanks for watching if you made it this far. I'm going to throw all this sugar out because I want to fucking throw it. I can't take no loss. I don't even know what it costs. I hit the ground and I go off. Yeah, hit the ground and I go off.